especially, we seek your blessing as the mantle of leadership is laid upon your servant, J. Timothy Cloyd, as president of Dury. God, we pray that you equip him and equip all those who lead this institution into a new season filled with promise and with hope. We have a saying in our line of work that every day you put your robe on is a good day. <laughs> Tim is the right guy to tell the story for Drury and for higher education. When James and Charles Harwood, Nathan Morrison, and Sam Drury laid the cornerstones of this campus in 1873, they could not have imagined how well their vision would have been preserved and how well it would be adapted to the changing times. The frame of our destiny was set by those who went before us. They are the ones, they are the giants on whose shoulders this community stands. But it's up to us today what we place into this frame. We teach our students that there are, in fact, better and worse ways to live a life and to cultivate individual character grounded in sound notions of virtue. We also know that students to succeed need to cultivate virtuosity, but we know that technical knowledge and skills last a very short time. And the most difficult and important problems, no matter your majors, in the future will not be technical or scientific ones, but they will be ethical and moral ones. In these critical moments, the institutions that invest in themselves emerge into a great, sustainable sunlight. We will now take immediate action to realize our immediate transformation and our envisioned transformation at this historic moment to solidly launch Drury for the next 150 years. He is, he's a, he's a brilliant thinker. He's probably the most strategic person we've had here in the leadership role in a very long time. He has kind of given us kind of a, a, a roadmap to really make progress in going forward. We knew when we hired Dr. Cloyd that he was very visionary. He had already proved that at other places. Tim is very well read. He's a reflective thinker. He's definitely a higher ed expert. I'm happy for Tim, I'm happy for his family, and I'm happy for Drury, because I think he's really a leader that's at the right place at the right time. We don't drink from wells we dug, we don't sit in the shade of trees we planted. That's what we're here to do, to set the table for the next generation. Mm -hmm.